So how, how, is, how do we think about quality in healthcare today and how are we going to think about it for the future and, and who really needs to lead that, that charge within the industry and within organizations? Uh, the main way we're, we're thinking about quality now really is this whole notion of value. So the, the word value is tossed around a lot in uh, the U.S. healthcare system. And what that really means is uh, doing an even better job than you're doing as a healthcare provider, but doing it with the same or fewer resources. Uh, and so quality now means uh, not just, you know, delivering on, you know, the best kind of care, whether it's the best clinical outcomes or meeting patient expectations, uh, but it also means doing it in a very efficient, timely manner. And that's different from how we, we might have looked at quality, you know, 10 or 20 years ago where resource utilization really wasn't the issue. We could, you know, a doctor could do whatever they wanted to do often uh, if the patient was insured in terms of, uh, you know, service provision. Uh, and all that really mattered was, you know, the clinical side of things. So this is, a, this is a big difference. So we're using the term value in how we think about now reimbursing uh, providers within the system. Uh, the accountability that comes with value, so we're measuring outcomes more. Uh, we're in a phase in healthcare where the measurement of performance and, and increasing transparency and accountability uh, among people who provide the service is at an all-time high. Uh, we can see now, using the technology we have and the data we collect, we can see the kind of job everyone does in the system. So it's not enough for a doctor to just say, well, I know I do a good job with my patients. That can be verified, and that can be judged. And so the people who are really leading this charge right now, uh, in some respects, uh, perhaps are not the, the clinicians. <laughs> it, it's really, uh, in many respects, people who are coming into healthcare with new talents, uh, whether it's talents in health information technology, talents in data analysis, talents in being able to, for example, do what's called population health management, where, you know, the doctor may be concerned about what is good for his or her pa individual patient, but someone else looks at, well, for our entire hospital, our entire primary care uh, office, what do all our patients, what kind of care are all our patients getting? And is that the right kind of care? So now we have the ability using technology to look at, you know, all the diabetics who get care in a primary care practice and being able to chart, graph, uh, and examine, you know, do the diabetics as a whole in this practice get the things they need to get? Do they get, you know, foot exams when they're supposed to? Do they get eye exams? Do they have their blood sugar controlled? Uh, and so quality also now is being defined in terms of what, what is being done for the population of patients, not just what's being done for individual patient based on individual patient based on individual patient. And, and this is really something that's been uh, furthered by the presence of technology and the ability to develop these large data sets. You know, we can collect all these, this utilization data and outcome data. So I think clinicians are finally sort of catching up and they're starting to really get on board and we need them because they, they're the ones that understand really what is best either for their patients or the population. But having not been trained to think in a population-based way, um, it, it will take some time. And so, uh, but the term, you know, the notion of value is here to stay. You know, we're going to have to do the best job for a large population of people while at the same time making sure we don't overuse resources uh, for that group of people. So, so quality is, is about uh, you know, controlling spending as much as it is improving outcomes.